guys, so today I'm going to be tying a fly called the 2-bit hooker. And uh, basically, um, this is just, uh, um, I'm starting here with two beads. One is going on the normal way, the front one, and then I reverse this one to go the other way so they sit nice, uh, neat up against each other. Um, so, we're going to start off with uh, a... This one I'm tying in brown, so right behind the bead we're going to start off our thread. Okay, and you want to give the beads a lot of room because they, uh, you don't want them right up against each other, you actually do want them separated a bit. Okay, so you don't want to tie too close and push that up there. Okay, and this is actually kind of a variation on the 2-bit hooker, it's not really exactly that fly, um, because with the 2-bit hooker I don't believe you use wire. Um, but first we're going to go with some micro fibbits. That's these things, those right there. I usually take quite a few of them. Now this fly was working really well on the animus last time I went. So you want to measure out these micro fibbits to about the length of um, of the hook and then tie them in right on top okay it's maybe a little too long let's pull them back okay once you get them in I usually like uh, flaring them out a bit and pushing them up with my fingernail and then going underneath a couple times with the thread to make sure they stick up. And then we are gonna see how they flared out here. We're gonna go ahead and now this is a, a bit tricky to do. We've got to flare them out even more, make sure that they're really out. So I'm gonna take a few of them. Try to there we go. See how that kind of flared those out and then we can kind of come up Oops. All right, so, so these ones are sticking up higher. There we go. And we got those sticking up a little higher. Okay. And you can go ahead and trim off your excess there. So now I'm going to take a super fine. Um, well, I guess it's a, a small, I've got ultra wire in this kind of like brownish olive color. We're going to go ahead and tie that in right on the side. Okay, and you want to bring it back to where the micro fibbits are. And then go forward. Again, you don't want to go too far forward, you want to be able to have those, um, beads separated a bit. Okay, and then we're going to build up a little bit of a taper here. Okay. And then we can just go ahead and do like a nice spiral. Build like a little thorax here, kind of make some ribbing. Helicopter off your thread or your wire. Keep those separated as much as possible. Okay, and then we're going to tie in, so we've got a piece of uh, saltwater size flashaboo here. You can see on the end there I kind of cut a notch in it. Um, this is a little too thick for this size. I'm, I'm actually tying a very small fly, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off at an angle, like so. And then just cut a nice uh, notch out of that. Might be hard to see. 
There we go. Just basically makes that smaller. Make sure that sits right nicely on top. Okay, and then we're going to get some dry fly dub dubbing. And I'm using like a brown color because I want this to be dark. We don't need a lot. We're just going to dub on a very small amount. In fact, that might even be too much. Okay, so... Build up the thorax there. And then go under and split. Those beads. And that's why we need them to be able to be separated a bit. See, I think that's too much. So I'm going to pull off a little bit of this. Okay. Now I'm going to take a... Uh, I'm going to use this partridge feather. It's actually like the neck feather. So it's very mottled. Um, which kind of gives a nice uh, buggy look to it. Um, there's all different feathers that people use for this. And I strip off everything except for just the top part here. And then I cut right uh, center to basically V it like that. And we are going to take uh, that and pinch tie that in right in the center in between those beads and we've got to adjust them to make sure that they're the right length there we go we can do a nice tight tie-in at that point and then I bring up the flashaboo casing right on top there and we can pull everything back. Let's snip off the excess. Okay. really got to watch your thread wrap with this, and I think I did too much there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and whip finish this. Make sure you whip finish where it ends on top like that. Because next, I'm going to take some uh, UV curing resin here, and the stuff I'm using is uh, Solares bone, uh, bone Hard, or, yeah, Bone, bone Hard, I believe it's called. I'm just going to take, I like it because it's got this nice, like, applicator. I'm just going to make, like, a little, uh, need a little more than that. Let's put a little on top. And that builds the top of the thorax, or body of it. We're going to cure that. There we go. I've got this one where the this one's sitting off on the side for some reason a bit. You can see um, it's not perfect, but, um, but this is a fly that was working really well. It's called the 2-bit hooker. It's a great fly. Um, it's got a lot of weight because of the two beads on it. Um, and using wire, it also makes it sink a, a lot a lot faster than uh, some people will use a uh, different color thread to rib that body on it, but 
this is what was working on the Animus uh, the last time I went out. So um, there's the there's the fly.